All right, guys. I'm putting the secondary bevels on here right now. And there's still just a little bit left to go here. I'm going to show you why I use jigs. By the way, pretty much everybody uses a jig for the secondary bevels. This is a soft leather platen. I'll do seven strokes. I don't want to use my coolness right now because it'll be all over the camera. So, a little dip on the fourth stroke. And then I'll flip it over. And do the other side the same way. This is just a piece of angle iron. A piece of scrap angle iron at that. And this table tilts to what I want. And it's a soft leather platen. So it's going to leave a soft line. It takes practice like everything else. But in the end, if you want a perfect knife, and you're going to have to make perfect strokes. And I prefer to use a jig. So now, I have to do the other side. It's just a simple jig. Anybody can make this. belt over to the other side. We'll do the same thing. About it's a stroke. I may need to do this seven more times when I'm done. Get the heads that I want, and I have to see after this next flip. But this is how I'm doing it. I don't even need to wear glasses or a breather because this is just sharpening. I do not hand sand. I'll start with it just like this. I've done knives many different ways, with different doubles and different wheels. And I prefer to do it out. Because you can get this pretty much mirror polished just with the sanding belt. I gotta get some finer grits, but when you buff it. It'll be mirror polish once I buff it. Let's see. And a little bit more on this side and a little bit more on that side. You see how it's thick there? I still got to do it more until all that thickness is gone. And then I get a sharp edge. But that's how it's going for me. You guys take care. Go green and go vegan.